Katie Salinger for TheFashionWalk.com, and I am here with Tim Gunn, who I have about 952 connections to. I know. Talk about one degree of separation, it, Amy. We, we've been meant to meet for this it's entire cool. time. He didn't know this, but I know this, and well, now you know, know this. It. Now, yeah. we got to give a hug. Now that we're best friends. Oh, yes. Best Agreed. friends. Here we go. Why don't we talk a little bit about fashion, a little bit about the Anna Sweet Show since we just came out of there. What is your initial impressions? What did you well, think? Well, I'm a long-standing fan of Anna. I mean, she has an integrity as a designer that says, I'm not going to um, be a victim of trends. I'm not going to get on the fashion bandwagon. I'm going to be who I am. And she's all about, well, color, texture, um, proportions that cause you to, to, to um, that are provocative. That, that it's, it's, it's not exactly easy work to look at, but once she does it and she defines it, you believe. I, I'm a believer. Absolutely. It's she's Anna. not a conformist, is no. what's so fabulous about her. You know, she's the one who brought out the baby doll dress. I'm sure you remember I that do back remember. in the day. And now, I'm, I'm going to tell you what my thoughts were coming down the runway. I want to see if you agree. Basically, I was like, hmm, if I wanted to be a flower child in the 70s, being a businesswoman at the same time, this is the perfect collection for me. And in 2010. Exactly, yeah. and that's what makes it so no, it's spectacular. it's relevant to today. It's not, it's not looking back and staying there. It's bringing it all forward. She which takes is, the positive elements of indeed. behind and throws it into the and future. And also, she, she does incredible investigation and research. She is, is an intellectual, and you come away from her shows learning something and feeling that it's, it's uh, filling the, the brain and the spirit. I love that you just said that, the brain and the spirit. And shouldn't clothing really be about that? Great, great be. being for the entire soul. Absolutely. Quick touch on Project Runway. Yeah. I am the biggest fan in the entire oh, world. Thank you. I really, I just can't get enough. Thank I have you. a little bit of a problem. So <laughs> I, at least I admit to it. And that's the first step of any addiction, to be honest with you. So the show, it was in LA for a season. You're back in New York. Are you happy about coming back to New York? Did you feel that LA lost a little bit of the energy that New York has? Well, uh, that's debatable. I think what LA really lost and, and what people were, were forlorn about was the absence of Michael Kors and Nina yes. Garcia as judges. They were barely there. Yeah. So in New York, they're with us the entire time. And we're in our homeland. I mean, yeah. this really is the, the center of the fashion universe. And I think it's really where we belong, to be honest. It really is, Tim. And I'm so happy that you guys are back because now that we have this one degree of separation, I think our first project should be me as a guest judge on Project Runway. Amy Sounds, your guest judge. What do you think? I love the idea. <laughs> you heard it here first. It's on camera, so we know it's going to go down. Thank you so much, Thank Tim. You. It was absolutely lovely, lovely to, to meet you. you. This is Amy Salinger for TheFashionWalk.com at Anna Sui. The show was fabulous. It was beautiful. If you happen to want to get in touch with your inner flower child, then this collection is for you. She stayed true to herself in terms of the flouncy, flirty, very pretty materials, but it was a much more demure show in terms of colors. Obviously, it's fall. We're not going to go super bright, but she really does usually something a little more over the top. We got a little bit of fur mixed in with the flower child 70s feel and a little bit of flapper right at the end. But overall, if you want to throw back to another era, mainly the 70s, then this collection is what you're going to be wearing in the fall.